Hi, I'm Ilker. Thank you for your interest in our study. A periodically modulated stimulus property can introduce periodical fluctuations in the EEG signal by modulating the activity of neural populations. We asked whether such periodical fluctuations can be introduced by factors other than modulated neuronal activity, such as cortical organization. In the brain, certain parts of the visual field are processed by larger areas of the visual cortex, a property known as cortical magnification. We hypothesized that cortical magnification can enhance or weaken the EEG signal depending on the stimulus position. Combined with a moving stimulus, cortical magnification could introduce fluctuations in the signal that will exhibit narrowband frequency components. To investigate this possibility, we conducted two experiments. In experiment 1, we modulated the polar angle of a dot and manipulated the phase coherence of this modulation in two different conditions. In the phase lock condition, we kept the phase of the polar angle modulation constant across trials. In the phase variate condition, we randomized it across trials. We then averaged trials in the time domain and expected the signals related to the polar angle modulation to survive in the phase locked condition but cancel each other out in the phase varied condition. And this was exactly what we found. There were very clear frequency components related to the polar angle modulation in the phase locked condition, but the same frequencies were at noise levels in the phase varied condition. Since all other stimulus properties were constant in these two conditions, this difference indicates that these frequencies are produced exclusively by the polar angle modulation. In experiment 2, we slightly shifted the center of the rotation trajectory. This allowed us to modulate the dot's eccentricity during its rotation. We again manipulated the phase coherence of the eccentricity modulation by changing the starting position of the dot. We also shifted the rotation trajectory in different directions to cancel out the effect of the polar angle modulation. This allowed us to isolate the effect of the eccentricity modulation. Similarly to experiment 1, we expected signals related to the eccentricity modulation to survive in the phase locked condition but not in the phase varied condition. And the results confirmed our expectations, indicating that the frequency components observed in the phase locked condition depend solely on the eccentricity modulation. Taken together, these results indicate that cortical organization and possibly other position-dependent dynamics of the visual cortex can introduce robust periodical fluctuations in the EEG signal by interacting with certain types of stimuli. These fluctuations lead to narrow-band frequency components, much like steady-state visually evoked potentials, but they are not necessarily related to modulations in neuronal activity. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to check out the description for more information.